Guys, welcome back to Burner Brother Antiques. We are here at the heart of Ohio Antique Center. We got a crazy day in, uh, in store here. We got a car show. Car show starting up at noon. Starting at noon today noon and before. eclipses tomorrow, which will be today when you see this. So That's today right. we're going to show you some cars. We're going to show you, we got a house call to go on. They're just um, getting set up here. So. First car just got here. The Antique Center's hopping already. It's early in the morning, but it's going, it's happening. So welcome to today's issue of Burner oh, Brother look, Antiques. Look what's rolling in right now. Oh, let's check it out. Oh, here we go. One's coming in right now. Car show starts at noon and check it out. That's gorgeous. So we're going to go on, guys. we got a house call to get to. Uh, where's this in London? London. We're headed yeah, to London. We're headed to London. Let's go. We're here at uh, Storm Lock. I'm going to take a look at what we got in here. Here's a bookcase, but it's got a broken glass. Um, needs a little TLC. There's some chairs. The bed that goes to this vanity. There's a bed to go with the vanity. Here's a little uh, writing Turn table. Right. Might be able to do Turn something right. with. Josh is getting directions let's end, still. Let's end the route here. In the route. There's a wicker <laughs> chair in there. We're going to dig through some of this and see what we can figure out. All right. Here's one. So we're going to get this bookcase pulled out of here. We made a deal on the stack bookcase here. We're going to uh, have to get it repaired before we can sell it, but that's okay. So we got the bookcase. Josh is uh, actually take it, taking it down to Scott's and seeing what it's going to take to get it fixed. And I just walked in and I'm here with Harry. And uh, Harry, I just, just got here. How have we been doing this morning? So far? Oh, a lot of first timers here. A lot, a lot of first timers people. today? Yeah. That's good. Right, coming in. We got, we got quite a few coming in the door right now. Right now. And the yeah. car show is starting to happen yep. right now, too. Yep. 10 minutes. 10 minutes we start the car show. Okay. See the car cool. Show. That's going to be a fun day. Yeah, it is. Car show is happening. Here we go. We've got a couple cars coming in. This is the first one of the year. There goes a Bel Air. What is that? 57? 56 maybe? 55? Somewhere in there? Yeah, check it out, man. we got a lot of cars in here. Well, here we go. Looking good now. I like the Roadster back here. This is pretty cool. Defender, Springfield, Ohio. Arrow is cool. I like it. Man, they got that thing cleaned up looking sharp. It's probably was it 68, 70, somewhere in there. All right, here we go. We got another, another group over here that just came in. That's pretty fun. Look at the GTO over here. Whoa. Good deal. That's a fun car. Check this one out. Pretty cool piece here, too. The car's got a 454 motor in it. He says he thinks it'll go about 150 mile an hour, 140 mile an hour. More cars, more cars, more cars, and more cars. A little bug, orange. I love is these guys really take care of their cars, man. This is a hobby, lifestyle enthusiast right here. Himmler, we got a Lark, and then we got Dirty Harry's delivery van right there. That's pretty special. Check it out. It's always interesting to watch all those cars coming in. Now we're coming back into the antique center and let's do some check in on some soul bins and see what else is happening inside. Check out the Stife Teddy Bear 155. He's cool. Original tags on it and all. You know, this stuff's getting more and more popular all the time. Here's a $129.93 Tops uh, baseball unopened. $129. Here is another pack. It's $59 from Upper Deck unopened. Couple pieces of glass back here. This is an interesting piece. Priced at 105 Blinko. Cool piece of Blinko. I like the little green top. This looks like Aura Force. Let's see what it says. Yeah, Aura Force vase, $18. Both sold. Okay, we have some Fenton animals here. So what do we got on this one? $32 on the first one. The frog's cool. He's $45. And a bell back here for $24.99. Bell sell. The mice are kind of cute. Check these guys out. How much? Uh, $14 on the mouse mice shaker. It's probably Japanese. Uh, same bin. Looks like a piece of Pilgrim, maybe. Uh, 12 bucks on that one. And then another little amethyst piece back here. This is crackle glass as well. And that one's $20. Here's a group of Chinese vases that are in the sold pile here. This one is priced at $195. Uh, these two here are $275. And... This one is 145, 145 and 275, three pieces.
Okay, we got a dealer restocking right now on well, 5105. I, I used to put there, but it's still there, oh so. man, that, that big one sold, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that great big bookcase is sold. We got, we got another one in the van. Got another one in the we're van. Wait till uh, we get but a little more. But it's not obviously coming in. Today. Yeah. Well, this is this is good I though. To the office. They you talk. They were, they said, no problem. I like the secretary here too. This is fun. Look at that. Three hundred and seventy-five dollars mahogany inlay secretary and that's got age too that's probably turn of the century uh gorgeous piece of furniture they're getting a bunch restocked in here i like the little rocking chair or rocking uh, chair down here at 55 dollars. that's a bargain man you guys got to come check this booth out these guys have been working really hard getting fresh stuff in here look at this 18 dollars, 16 dollars. very reasonable prices it's going to go quick uh 200 on a one drawer stand that's probably 1850, 1860, somewhere in between. Uh, pretty cool stuff, guys. Nice. Very, very nice. And they're just right here restocking <laughs> as I'm talking. Look at this big stroller right here. Wow. Yeah, that's new today. That's just coming in today. Just today. And that's pretty special. <laughs> Victorian, and it's a hundred and a quarter. $125 on a Victorian pram. Check that's a good price. Do you have the umbrella? For the, no, we don't. You have the bracket, though. Yeah. <laughs> Fun brackets there and all. $125. Great decoration piece. I'm just walking into booth 1232. This is a freshly restocked booth. Uh, dealer just came in today and re, re, re put some put some new items in. Just do a little quick walk around in here. Uh, we've been in this booth before, but this is just really fun stuff. Very eclectic mix. Uh, I mean, you can find neon signs in here. You find old advertising. Just a really cool group. I love the antler groupings here. How much are these? two and a quarter on the big moose antlers and 110 on another group down there interesting items i like this big work table here look at the iron base on that table that's pretty special big wood top on the on it hey i'm right here at showcase 6212 these guys just restocked as well uh, let's take a look at what all's in here here's a cool briar horse that's in a running pose I like this guy sitting down. So folk art pieces in here. There's salt and pepper. There's just a little bit of everything. Very eclectic mix. Uh, lots of little porcelain figurines. Um, look at this horse. It's got like a flame going down the side. Interesting group. There's a cute pig. Some other stuff in here. Uh, salt and peppers are fun. You got Mickey Mouse, all the Disney items down here on the bottom. They have cool briar again with a one, one foot pose in the back. Come check it out, booth 6212, freshly restocked uh, today. I'm trying to just show some dealers that have put fresh stuff in and, uh, and someone also asked me, said, hey, show us Josiah's stuff. We'd like to see what he's selling. So here you go, I'm gonna show you Josiah's booth. Josiah's case is 6202 uh, and here we go. He's got all kind of fun things. I like this little art glass bird paperweight, uh, 20 bucks, that's a bargain. A lot of Joe's prices are very reasonable. Uh, Cloisonne in the back, twenty dollars, twelve dollars, twelve dollars. Not sure where he's finding all this stuff at, but there's some bargains in there. Uh, I mean, look at the Shawnee Puss in Boots for fifteen, or Cat for fifteen. The pictures, a whole bunch of cameras in here. Interesting group of Victorian glass. Uh, all through here, and then he's got a big piece of cut glass up top. I mean, that big picture is only twenty dollars. Good buys here at Joe's booth. I'm just catching back up with Josh here. You were telling me about the bookcase. What, what'd you end up doing? Oh, I took it down to our friend that redoes furniture and he's uh, he's gonna take it over. He bought it from us, made a little little bit of a profit, but turn it to him, he's gonna save it. So And then he'll put it uh, back here in the mall for sale. Yeah, he's gonna put it back into the mall. We'll replace the glass, get all the trimmings back on it, get it looking good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that piece of save, man. Cool. What do, we, what do we got? We got a pair of silhouettes going up to the yes. sole bench, $36. And then we have another uh, signed print down here for $42, a little Paris watercolor. That's cool. Oh, and a paperweight. paperweight. Yep. How much was the paperweight? Uh, $9. $9 in the sole bins. All right, appreciate it. Back in here to some sole bins. Let's check in for a minute here and see what we got. This is a mice in. That's gorgeous. Girl with boy. Uh, what's the price on these? $59 for the pair. That's a bargain. Wow, $59 on a pair of mice and figurines. Right behind it, uh, cool French, $225 uh, double handled vase. Violet, violets? I don't know, I'm not sure what those are painted on there, but gorgeous piece. Some carnival iris pattern, $24 on this guy, $9 on this one, and then $10 each on the Franciscan apple bowls. Here's an interesting little mix of stuff. We got a Horlicks mixer for $38. 
We've got a little uh, blue ring here for $28.50. Some miniature oil lamps at $12 range on those. And then two pipes. Let's see how much the pipes are running. Uh, pipes right here are $14 each. And this guy's a buyer. More coming in right now as we're talking. Uh, $28 on the glass. It's like a fly trap. Well, here's a fun little bronze sensor, uh, $8 on that one, and $10 on the stone figurine. Both sold. That's an interesting cast iron rack. Let's see what that's priced at. $18 on the cast iron rack. That's just a fun piece. Got a big wrench right here for $15. And then right beside it, little porcelain pieces, uh, $22 on this guy. This is a new dealer, man. They're hot, selling a lot of stuff. Van Meter Studio Pottery Bowl, $28. Both sold. Here's some glasses. This one's a Mickey Mouse, $3 on Mickey Mouse. Here's a $5 Minnie Mouse glass. Uh, here's a Fire King, it's like Fire King cup for $35 on the Fire King. Uh, $3 on this one here, $25 on this guy. Somebody's collecting gl uh, glasses here. This is Pinocchio, $25. And then the last one in this group is $25. Um, and who is this? Pinocchio again. Also, me and my, what do you got? Word of the day <laughs> on the spot. Here we go. <laughs> um, pleasant. Pleasant. Yes, it's been a very pleasant day. Got to go to church and good news from there and come here and see all the cars and visit the people here. It's just been a pleasant, pleasant yeah, full day. A very, a very pleasant day. day. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Here he's writing up an offer on this plate. Little, what was that? World's Fair, isn't it? St. Louis, probably? World's Fair? Is that what that one is? I don't remember Chicago. I don't remember. I think it's World's Fair, though. Uh, and it's priced at $110, and the offer is getting wrote up for $85. we will see if it goes through. This is Lisa. You just drove down from Chicago. From Chicago. And it's your first time here. It is. And you just walked in the door. I just walked in the door. You've been here I for like three on, minutes. Yep. Saw you on YouTube. I thought, what better place to see the eclipse? See the eclipse? Springfield, <laughs> I figured, Ohio. I figured, you know, Indianapolis is going to be really crowded. So yeah. I thought I'd just keep going. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, we're glad you made the trip. <laughs> and uh, it'll be fun here. tomorrow. Yeah, that's awesome. Mark's got a few more sold items coming up right now. It looks like we got a wheel priced at nine dollars this is an interesting group a four dollar wheel over here no the gas can's four dollars that's okay and then this wheel is priced at 9.95 i don't know interesting day so far mark yes sir <laughs> thank you uh -huh. josh you just missed uh, lisa from chicago just got here first first time here she decided oh. to come and watch the eclipse cool she watched this on youtube and invite coming me down the eclipse. So, yeah right. she had to get a moon pie she, well she went to indianapolis and she goes i'm just gonna go on down to the heart well, that's perfect so, yeah, yeah if, you're, welcome. if you're at indy you might as well come on over that's so cool and then uh, we just sold this bookcase i'm gonna go check it out see which one it is should be right. So this bookcase is the one that just sold. Victorian walnut bookcase. It's big. It's about eight foot three. I'd say it's well over eight foot there. Yeah, it's about eight foot three. The pegboard's eight foot right there. Yeah. So it's about eight foot three, maybe eight foot four. Gorgeous double door though. Really uh, wal walnut. Absolute stunning bookcase. I mean, I'm telling you what, this dealer, sell, he sold two bookcases two days ago. This one today. He's been rocking his sales, but he keeps the prices reasonable. Mm -hmm. I mean, $650 for a Victorian bookcase that's eight foot, four inches tall. That's crazy price. His, his Remington's the same way. He just sold a Remington always, too. Yeah, he always has decent prices on them. Yeah. And when you put in an offer, he usually works with you. Yeah, if so. it's a reasonable offer, he'll, he'll, he'll work with you on offers too. Yeah. Yep. Great dealer right here again, guys. We're in booth number 6120. Uh, you wanna come check him out. Great dealer here at the heart of Ohio. Okay, we're back up here. I got some more sold items. Longer Burger Basket going out for $26. I'm telling you, the Heart of Ohio Antique Center is probably the best place to buy Longer Burgers. Very reasonably priced here. $3.50 ice cream scoop. Here's a stone stoneware candle. Uh, it's a more of a modern one, but let's take a look at the price. Uh, maybe I can get this off. It is $5. See there? Bargain, bargain. There's a Fire King mixing bowl. Priced at $75. That's good. That's fun. I like it. Here's a fur going out the door. Uh, let's see if I can find a price on it. Here we go. Priced at $28 on the fur. Now, somebody will probably recondition that one. Cuter cup. Uh, oh, no price on that one. That's going to get a price check. $10 on the penguin. Oh, it's not a penguin. What'd that say? Pigeon, I think. I don't know what it is. Ceramic portraits is what it's marked, $10. Guys, I'm still shocked right here. Tupperware is a constant seller here. $20 on this one right here. Set of three, 
sold for twenty dollars. Mortar and pestle set priced at forty five dollars. It's yeah. sold. Yep. And right beside it is a sixty eight dollar. Uh, I don't know if that's lucite or plastic or what it's made of, but sixty eight dollars sold skull. It's kind of creepy a little bit. We got a carnival glass vase here, kind of a jack in the pulp vase, sold in fifty dollars. Interesting piece. Little piece of pilgrim glass just sold for thirty four dollars. He's cute. Almost every single day you can find Fiesta uh, for sale here. This one is $53 on the big piece. Uh, let's look down here at some of these other prices just so you get an idea. This cobalt bowl here is $18. The one underneath, $35. Every day Fiesta sells at the heart of Ohio. All right, we have some more items coming back. What we got? I got dino poop, actually. Dino poop? That really what it is? Yeah, copper light. Really? Mm-hmm. All right, ten dollars each on those. Those each. I got a. I don't know what this is. Uh, I don't know. Six dollars stone $6. there, of some sort. And you got some more of those swatches. Got some watches. Some watches. How much are these? Let's see the prices. Fourteen dollars each on the watches. Okay. Mm -hmm. All sold. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna go check outside the car show for a minute. Uh, pretty packed in here. A lot of people at the cafe. There's still folks coming in. Uh, yeah, let's walk outside. Yeah, car show is definitely happening out here. So here you go. Here's the car show, man. It's about filled up now. Uh, there's still people coming in on the cruise in. Then look at our parking lot, man. This is off the charts today. I love it. Gotta get excited. Uh, get excited when that many people show up to buy here in the heart of Ohio. I love it. Our dealers love it. And uh, what a fun atmosphere we have going on out here. Check this out. I'll get one more time around the road. Vehicle still coming in. The last car just pulling in up here just came through the gate. One after another. Cool cars. Both sides. Let's back up and look over here. Uh oh, he's got a flat tire. He's getting fixed. Wow. Dirty, hairy vehicles. Just gorgeous, gorgeous vehicle. I love it. Now, something I don't know a whole lot about are cars. I see them, I love them, but I've never studied them. Never tried to buy and sell a whole lot of them, maybe a half a dozen through the years. Had a 71 GTO, I think it was. Pretty cool one. All kinds of stuff here. I'm afraid I'll get, uh, if I go too far, I might get YouTube uh, canned for the music. So I'm gonna stay away from the music, try and keep talking through this. Cool Cobra, Ford, that's fun. Man, I could, I could drive that. That looks pretty cool right there. Gotta like that car. So my favorite two cars right now on the whole lot are this one right here. And you're, you're gonna laugh at me. But this one right here is my next favorite, the milk truck. I think this would be great to buy one of these and paint it up, go antiquing with one of these right here. Show up in a house call with a, with a truck like that decked out, that'd be pretty cool. Man, what flames on that car. That's still just one of the highlights right here. Classic lines, I love the look. Colors, you just got it looks like a piece of art, man. These are gorgeous cars. Here's another one coming in right now. How's it going? <laughs> Check it out, that's cool. Check out the little rocker right here. This is interesting. Up here in the sold bin, these are English if I'm not mistaken. Uh, $395. Mobo horse, very rare, it says. Huh, okay, sold. Josh and uh, Scout are getting their eclipse glasses out, We're getting ready. Testing glasses. Testing glasses. Yep. Papa will have bar. ones that well, some they're bars, not right. Some of ours like you can see good. the. Though they weren't, you weren't. Yeah, you could see all the light through them. So oh, really? Yeah. That might hurt your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it's so. like you're going to burn your red. Oh, man, make Someone. sure you're wearing the right kind of glasses. <laughs> yeah. Well, these are the right ones. They have the mark on them, but. Yeah. Um, the, the lenses you can see through, so we're <laughs> toss of those. Got you a new pair. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm throwing them away. That's the empty papaw's look. Turn his retinas out. Well, we don't need that. Well, Scout, how was, how was uh, work today? You guys busy? the cafe. Yeah, cafe was busy? Yeah, busy. Car show going on, so. What, what did you sell the most of today? A lot of, like, grilled chicken salad and just grilled chickens. Grilled chickens in general. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say grilled cheese, but oh, grilled yeah. cheese, grilled chicken, anything grilled. Okay, there she is. Yeah, You're styling good. now. I am. <laughs> well, Josh, I'm getting ready to get out of here uh, for the day. I got family night tonight. Go play some games with the kids. Uh, anything else before I get out of here today? Have fun. Enjoy Have fun. the evening. Enjoy the evening. It's been a crazy busy day here. It's pretty fun. It's a good day. It's a good day. Yeah. It's a good day to be an antiques dealer, an yes, antiques person. Ma'am, only any final words for the day? Have a blessed day. 
Have a blessed day. Guys, don't forget, watch, subscribe, like, uh, at Burner Brother Antiques, at Heart of Ohio Antiques, and we will see you tomorrow.